Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane. I do readings for Pisces and today we're doing messages through oracles. Um, we're letting spirit come in and give messages as well. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is the last official on the channel reading. So uh, Thursdays are usually my last readings and then I come back on Sundays to do the brand new week. Um, if you are a member, there will be an extra video, and that one is on Saturday, and we're going to be looking at the new moon, I do believe, in Virgo. Okay. So, I usually ask, um, I, I, I ask my guides to give me some indication of what they would like me to speak about before I ever do oracle messages. And, of course, they always reply in kind. They always do. And they give me a few things to think about, a few things to um, to ponder over. Um, when I pull a card from this beautiful deck that I haven't used in a while, I like this deck. It's a Chakra Wisdom, I think it's called. I'm not too sure. Um, let me see if I can find it, because some of you... Yeah, it's a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. So, gratitude came in. And these cards are usually like things that you're having a problem with. I always use them like it's like if I was to be asking about a block, I've always used these cards as such. So how can gratitude be a block? I would say lack of gratitude would be a block. And that uh, became very apparent in the messages that they were sending this week. Okay, so the one thing that I did notice was that... Um, I was watching a video, an NDE, this a near-death experience, if you're not aware of what that meant. And there are all kinds of channels out there talking about people sharing their experiences. And this young gentleman was talking about that. And one of the things that he was talking about is that, um, I loved his example, and I'm going to use it today, is that we are always connected to spirit. And I've said this myself on my channel many, many, many times. I've always said that we are the problem, not spirit, not, not spirit guides. They're always there. A lot of people say, I feel alone, they're not here, they're not talking to me. Um, usually it's because of a vibrational disconnect. Um, and the way he explained it is that spirit is like a plug in the wall, the outlet, right? It's there, it's fixed, it's always available for power. We are the plug, and we choose whether or not to plug into it. Sometimes we're somewhere over here, and somewhere over here is maybe very close to the outlet, but it's not gonna do much if you're not plugged in, okay? Even if you're right by it, you're not gonna make a connection. So you need to be in the proper vibration. So gratitude makes a lot of sense being in that kind of thing, right? Uh, funny part of it is I always read the comments to these videos that I watch and somebody wrote like a list of 20 low vibrational feelings that they have had in their lives and that they keep feeling and they went, yeah, um, life sucks or something like that at the bottom. And I thought, wow, talk about watching an entire video and missing the entire point of the video. But that's okay, you know there are people out there who are just not getting it. So I'm here to talk to you about not getting it. If you're somebody who's struggling with this at times, who's having a hard time connecting to gratitude because of things that are happening, I will give you my own example. I have been sick for a little while. I've told you guys with the big uh, C, <laughs> cold. <laughs> and uh, I, I've gotten this, I think, six times now. Um, it's quite challenging because it's different. Um, I feel like when you feel you're almost done, it kind of rears up and, and kind of takes you down again for a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm never looking forward to this. And I could sit in bed and just kind of think, poor me, what, I have to do this again? This so sucks. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I could get through these a lot quicker etc etc that vibration of being the plug outside the outlet I could absolutely do that but I don't what I actually did this time around and what I've done the last couple of times that I've been down sick is I've taken the I've 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 found things to be grateful for um, last time I think it was like for being home being able to uh, convalesce and take time to heal this time I was thinking 
wow, I've got this way early in the season, so it should be good kind of an inoculation for six months or so. And that means I can go out in public and not worry about getting sick anymore because I've already gotten sick. It's like, I already got it. I'm good, right? I can now mingle. I can do everything that I, I want. I can go shopping because I'm usually very careful between this part of the year till the beginning of New Year's. I try to limit the amount of times I go out, okay, to big social gatherings because I find that people just don't care. They go out and they spread whatever and they don't care, right? I'm, I'm partying. I'm good. I'm sick, but you won't get sick because I'm partying, right? So, um, I just, I usually, but now that I've gotten it, I thought to myself, yay, I, I'm, I'm done. I'll be done. And now I can, you know, if, if we need, you know, supplies and other people don't want to go out, I can go out because I've already gotten, um, ill. So I'm, I'm good. Not only that, I got ill during a heat wave where nobody wanted to go outside. So it was the perfect time to get sick, right? Where nobody wants to go outside, where I'm not walking because it's just too humid and hot. So gratitude. I have gratitude in my heart. Do so you understand? I plugged in. And not only is it good for high vibration, it's good for healing the body as well. So I'm doing well. Even though I'm still still there. But I'm doing much better. Alright, so let's pull some cards here. Let's pull some cards. So those are the sign. Where can you find gratitude? Now of course, um, I always take into consideration the big things in life. The, the big things that um, are not coals. You know, somebody passing away. Um, losing everything. Or something like that. I, I don't expect you right at the moment to go, I'm grateful for all of that. Um, but I do expect you to take some time in the future to look back on maybe being grateful for the time you had with that person. Being grateful for the things that you had while you had them and promising yourself in the future to appreciate anything that you do have at right now, knowing that things change constantly, okay? These are the things that I want you to look at, okay, later on. I'm not denying that we have to feel sadness. I think it's an important part. But I feel like all these low vibrating, low vibrating energy, they want you to pull the best lessons and wisdom from them. Okay? The Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. But it's acquiring knowledge that I like here. The Shadow Queen, it's like in these shadows, in these shadow times, you look at the star, okay, the light of wisdom, seeing, finding the <clears throat> light at the end of the tunnel, finding the silver lining, okay, that is the message, find the silver lining. Uh, don't get stuck in the shadows all the time, right? Right, okay. This call, this deck is, this one was, what was this one? The Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. By the way, if you're interested in deck flip-throughs, silent, HD quality, just a little music in the background, you just get to see all the cards from a favorite deck. Um, I do have another channel, it's called Connect to the Deck to Row. I post on it every single week, at least one video. I've started that recently, and I'm hoping to get through all my decks, okay? I'm hoping to do flip-throughs of all of them to show it to you. Um, I also do, like, deck modifications from beginning to end. I give you the row spreads from beginning. It's really all about divination, okay? So you can pick and choose whatever you want to watch. Okay, carry the torch for others to see. Wake up the world. I love this. Look, torch, torch, na na. Okay, show them that you can be grateful when the chips are down, or when the shit is down, or when the shit is up. Whatever. <laughs> show them that gratitude is something that you can live with, and 
and be surrounded by. Um, you know, you're going to impress people a lot more by finding, not the sunny side of it, just finding more than what is just a bad feeling, a bad moment. I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm fearful. Um, I'm desperate. By all means, you can acknowledge that when it comes in, you can go, I feel that right now. Yeah, I'm feeling that right at this moment. But what do you do with that? Do you just sit there, unplugged to spirit, unplugged to a better vibration? I mean, if you have power available to you, why would you not plug into that? Why would you refuse it? That's the part that gets me. You see, for me, I do have those moments, but I am an optimist. Well, tomorrow's going to be better. Oh, well, it's got to be better. There's got to be better, right? So for me to stay in that feeling is just something I don't understand most of the time. Once in a while, there's a few times in my life that I've been stuck there. Big events. Loss of a child. Loss of a parent. Um, almost a loss of a relationship. Yeah, I, I've been down rock bottom a few times. Big tears shed. Big angry feelings. Absolutely. But I don't think I've ever wanted to stay there. And only till I got really older in life did I realize that there was, there was something to everything. Even the stuff that hurt real bad. Okay? Don't stay in the shadows. I would say, if that's the biggest part, don't stay in the shadows. Okay? Forty-seven, eleven. This is sixteen, seven. Mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. I like that one. I don't think I've, we've seen that one very often. Um, but that one feels like it resonates. And the reason I feel that it resonates, it's almost like saying, you, you know, um, what is it? Uh, heal thyself healer. Heal thyself healer or something like that. Oh, wow. And it just like fell right on this. I just, I didn't even have to look for it. Okay. Inner and outer healing on all levels is occurring in your life. A situation, relationship, or physical challenge is being resolved. Have faith that it's happening. This is the time to find a source of challenges. Transform inner grievances. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. You are a healing force for others, even if you're not aware of it. Again, talking about that, showing the example to others. And that's why this makes this an oracle message. A master teaching. Because not only are you figuring out how to maneuver it and, and get plugged in, while you're doing it, people will go, wow, you know, she tripped, fell on her face, she got up, and then she made the area safe for everybody, like, wow, right? It's that kind of energy that comes in. There are times when a traveler steps off the path to search for the mystic healer. The healer instructs that everything in nature has the intrinsic ability to restore itself and reminds you that you also have this powerful ability within you. For healing to occur on the outside, it's essential for healing to occur on the inner planes. To do this, meditate by visualizing a beautiful, vital future for yourself and trust that recovery is on the way. Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Mystic healers are working with you to resolve emotional and physical challenges. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface, all is well. Yeah, 
I, um, as well, had repeating patterns and until that I tapped into a past life um, and more accurately a past traumatic death, um, did I know how to release it, okay? So you might want to check that out for some of you who are uh, really committed to your path and there's something that keeps coming up and it doesn't feel like it's part of this lifetime. You know, sometimes we carry stuff. We do. We do. So, just know there's a lot of possibilities for what's happening in your life, okay? Okay. Am I letting fear stop me? These are soul truth cards, by the way. Are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? A mountain? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss of fear. You are unstoppable. But it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero, so that is who you will become. I absolutely love this. That is who you will become. And remember, we were talking about fear. We're talking about fear. And what is fear? It's false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. And my normal tarot deck just went all over the floor, Pisces. Look at that. It's not 54 pickup, it's 78 okay, pickup. so here we go, Pisces. Hopefully I'll be able to end the second part of this reading. Uh, <laughs> I have to tell you, I've been trying to do this reading all morning. I was up early, I thought to myself, I'm getting a lot done today. Not so. Um, I'm going to have to actually meditate and channel my dad. He has been showing up in the cards in the last two weeks. I guess he has something to say. And um, it's something personal, not here. So I'm just going to have to. I'm going to have to do some meditating after this. So here we go. Take action with passion. Valiant courage. This has been coming in a lot too in this week. Uh, a lot of saying, look, take the time, take your courage, go forward. You can do this. You've got this. You have a brave heart. You trust yourself, okay? Be the hero in your own life. Um, who else is going to be a hero? Who else is going to be a hero in your life, okay? Let's see what else. What other, what other challenges? Okay, so this card of soulmate um, is not soulmate, soulmate. Um, this card of soulmate is soul mate. In other words, spirit guides, people who are there to listen to you. Um, you have the ability to have this communication, but when you're not in a higher vibration, it's very hard to have these communications. It's very hard to have these discussions. So give yourself a chance to connect with people, okay? To connect in this way. Absolutely. Give yourself a chance to connect this way. Yeah. Yeah. I like the red in this card as well. It's reminding me of that base chakra. Sometimes we get stuck in our worldly bodies and we forget that there's so much more out there that we could be connecting to. Okay? Uh, this one. Let's do this one. If the world around you seems turbulent,
stop. If the world around you seems turbulent, stop. What does that mean? Stop and look around? Stop and see? That wouldn't surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay? Absolutely. If life around you keeps telling you, take, take a moment, take a break, figure it out, do that. Take a moment, take a break, figure it out. Know that it is because you are connected to the spirits that you have a sense to pause for reflection when life spins you out of control. That's exactly. Right here. Okay? Connecting to your spirit guides, to your higher self, to your soul. Okay? This is when you go within to seek answers and the great guardian spirits will reach you through your still mind and allow you to balance your energy before going on. That's why it's important to stay plugged into them. Okay? It's important to stay um It's just important to stay connected to them. Only when you can find balance can you affect the elements in motion and bring them bring calm to the chaos. So seek that balance now. Enjoy every journey. It must include places to stop and reflect. Ebb and flow. You hear me saying that a lot. Ebb and flow. Okay. So let's pick a few more. And then I'm going to do some singing bowl. And... We're going to call it a day. We're going to call it a, a moment. I, I feel that they've been really talking a lot about this this week, maybe even last week. There's a lot coming in about this. Okay. The Diamond Dreamer and the Eyes of Beauty. Positive expectations, clarity. I love that. Absolutely. Okay. Expect the great positives to come into your life. Not negatives. Okay, like I said, negativity is one thing, but you have to get the get the wisdom. Get the positive. The wisdom is the positive. The diamond dreamer, material wealth, true prosperity. I love that. The true prosperity is if you have gratitude and you feel great and you're always bringing in the very best of things, you're always going to be rich. You're always going to feel rich. You're always going to have prosperity. It doesn't matter um, if you have money, if you have, you'll always feel like you're very rich in everything that you receive. Okay? How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete Buddha. Choose one self-care action to do today. Set stronger boundaries. Meditate and listen to your heart. Speak to yourself with compassion. Focus on your strength. Coming in. Where's that strength card? There it is. Valiant Courage. Okay. Say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Soul mate. There you go. Say yes to something you're afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. And write down three things you're grateful for. We're going right full circle. Full circle. Write down three things you're grateful for. Okay? So I'm going to put these up here. And you can pause and look or write it down and decide. Okay? And if you want to do it, I highly suggest it. I think that it's great to have something to help yourself with to move forward, to, I don't know, help you see the world in a kinder and a better place so that you can plug into that outlet and stay plugged in as long as you can every day, every moment that you're here. It is pretty good. All right, my beautiful ones, let's do a little singing bowl and then we're going to call it a day. And of course, if you're a member, there's an extra video on Saturday about the full moon, the full, not the full moon, the new moon in Virgo. Um, 
the full moon's in Pisces. <laughs> yeah. So, but this is going to be a new moon in Virgo. So, if you're a member, look out for that. And if not, I will see you on Sunday when I post the brand new week. Here we go. Be careful of your eardrums if you're wearing headphones. It's going to get loud. All right, my beautiful Pisces, so that was very relaxing. Um, I didn't do the charms today. I'll do them next week. Um, thank you so much for being here. I hope that this message helped you. Don't forget to check all my stuff out in the description box. I have so much going on now, and I appreciate you for being here, supporting me. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Tell me how you're going to use uh, life and make it your wise pathway. <laughs> I was going to say make it your BTC CH but I'm not I'm not going to BITCH make that your no <laughs> just make it your wise journey wise pathway into uh the beauty um that is available to you, okay? Remember uh, a garden sometimes have all kinds of wildflowers that would be considered weeds. Okay, so sometimes when you think something is no good, because when it comes in, the energy is very strong, has sometimes the most powerful message and the most powerful wisdom. So don't discredit anything. I think that would be the biggest message. Don't discredit anything. The energy for the singing bowl is still on point and perfect. So let that stuff in and uh, let the wisdom, the knowledge take you away, okay? All right, my dear, dear, beautiful friends, my family, I will see you next week. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.